une famille qui n'est pas la nôtre, nous étouffons. Dans la nôtre, nous étouffons aussi, mais sans nous en apercevoir. Now all the windows are open, so we can actually see the musicians who have during the TV, during he was looking at the TV, they entered the house. Now you can see also the cameraman who is shooting since 35 minutes. And um, but you're always um, irritated, of course, by this double or triple image of the of the house itself, of inside the house, and of the projection of what the cameraman inside the house is shooting like the library behind the desk of the author. Okay, but the time here is running out a little bit, so I would like to go just for the, for the last scene of this piece, and then I hope you have a chance to see it one day here on another place. Probably not here, and rather at another place. Um, I would like to go for the, for the end scene Um, let me explain something maybe to, to it. Um, it ends up with a, with a um, number of, of This string quartet of uh, George Crump. Um, uh, this ends with a fugue of John Sebastian Bach, in which sort of the text of Canetti is the fifth voice of this fugue. Oh, 
stellt, Cléon dit, pas moi. Thank you. So, thank you very much, Heino, for this uh, presentation. And now you have uh, the possibility to ask questions about what you have seen and heard. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, I have. Um, yes, please start you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you started with Shostakovich, and, and there's a clearly a political uh, stalling. Connotation. Personally, yeah. it's yeah. uh, threatening. Uh, the rest of the Russian composers I'm not familiar with, but is there also a, is there, is this political space continue with them? Uh, it's, it, it's a good question because the choice of the music, of course, especially when you have so much music mm -hmm. in the uh, string quartet music in the 20th century, is a crucial one. I mean, um, what I tried to, um, um, first of all, I, when, when I make artistic decisions, I, I rather I try to um, have not only one idea. I try to, to that at least four, three, four reasons are amplifying a certain decision. And for example, um, there was a very important um, development for me, first of all, to think of string quartet to, to, uh, towards the text of Canetti. It has to do with the fact that it's sort of the smallest social, social body of, of instruments and at the same time a reference to the big orchestra with, the, with the, all the voices. So it's quite a, um, um, a focus for, for um, on a, an interior focus of music. Um, and at the same time referring to bigger, bigger, um, to bigger um, instrumentations. Uh, the choice of music had to do with a couple of reasons. I think most of the pieces I choose were chosen by um, sort of poli political decisions, or let's, let's say by looking for music, for example, which has been um, has been composed under similar conditions, like in a very wide sense, like under, to, and let's say, under totalitarian, totalitarian conditions, like Shostakovich, Mosolov is a, is a composer as well. Lubanov is another Russian composer uh, whom you could um, name in the same row. Then there's this um, also politically connotated string quartet of George Crump. And um, then, of course, with Ravel, it's rather the interi French interieur, which was also looking for something which works together with the language and with his voice. And um, the Bach, actually, the decision for the Bach in the very end was another one. I cannot even, um, I cannot even <coughs> exclude the possibility that while we were experimenting with texts and musics, and the string quartet, for example, was offering also a lot of material, and they were offering the Bach. And I, and I was going through my through my papers of Canetti, and I found uh, this sequence of Laba. And I cannot exclude that it might have to do with the connotation of Bach and Laba. That I thought, let's try this. And but it it works in a, in a wider sense. It works not only the, in the sense that it, there's a fifth voice <coughs> to the four already speaking voices of this polyphonic. Uh, strict texture. It also works on the way that um, with this um, structural composition, which is so transparent in its in its uh, way of building, uh, and that it gives it was a perfect um, perfect link to to make these walls trans uh, transparent and and show what's behind the behind the um, behind the architecture.